Hi, this is Bidyaskar Salam with another video on Elementor Face Builder for WordPress. In this video, uh, let's walk through the icons widget, its features, settings, and its limitations, and some uses of icons in your website. Yeah, let's edit with Elementor. There. Yeah. It's here uh, let's say let's drag and drop the icon here first let's start with this icon you can uh, use lots of icons here here and where these icons come from this um these are the this phone awesome icons here yeah. any phone awesome icons available here you can uh, it will be available here at elementor so if you cannot find if you cannot find the particular icon here uh, you cannot find uh, because it's uh, too small to browse then you can browse on the phone awesome icon and here like this and you can uh, search the name on Elementor let's say like this there are lots of icons here you can choose from and next is view by default it's, uh, it's the only icon view and you can view uh, you can uh, set the display like this step here like this or frame like this and you can align in the column left or right here like this and you can uh, set the alignment for a specific device in mobile you want to align right um, in the middle or left or right here like this or in the tablet device you want to align it right left or center like this you can set it for the specific device and here uh, in this picture in the in this frame this is circular and you can make it square like this square frame even for the stack too uh, like this cf uh, is useful if you want to say add uh, like this here yeah, facebook icon you can use uh, you can do that uh, like this you can uh, you can get a nice twitter icon here like this this is how you uh, these are the basic icon features here and let's go to styles and this is for links you know that and if you click on the here after inserting the link then when i click on the uh, icon it will open on a new window if you don't click here then it will open in the current window means means uh, it will um, be redirected your ps will be redirected to a new page that you have inserted the link here i recommend you to click on open new tab button here and style this is for changing the primary colors the primary colors this is the primary background uh, color i guess uh, you can say that and this for this uh, center icon color there this one let's say you want to set a footer here you want to design the footer and you set the uh, um, background color as a green and you want to add social icons it's same it's same for icons and social icons in the style primary color 
primary color means that this uh, background color for the icons you can set the color uh, green they are like this then you can get a nice here yeah, white icon or you can set the color as transparent even you set uh, blue or other colors if you there is transparency full transparency then you can get nice icons like this is same for the icons uh, icons too you know about primary color secondary color and it's about the size it's like the phone size if you say 15 it will be like a 15 phone size and in icon padding Icon padding is about the center primary icon and the uh, and uh, its uh, the background or um, circular or rectangular square background. Say if I said the uh, reduce the icon padding or increase, you can increase the padding here like this. This is the icon padding, and when you uh, this is for rotate when you you can use rotate. Let's say a less sense icon. Battery. This is the battery icon. Uh, keep it by default. Primary color. Let's say red. Okay. Size 60. Okay this is the battery icon and you want to sell uh, rotate it you want to rotate the icon let's say uh, like this then you have you can set uh, 90 degree well uh, this is important so i guess 270 degree Yeah, like this now it's a uh, upside it's upside now and this for icon feature where you can change the icon color when someone hovers over it here like this it will change to black and a hover animation you can make it pulse or grow or sing push Lots of animations are here. Let's say pulse. When hover, it will be pulse. It will pulse like this. These are the features, huh, of icon widget. And if you want to insert a uh, like this in trans animation, when someone loads the page with web page, it will fade in. And in res responsive, if you want to hide this icon in the desktop, you will hide, or in tablet, you can hide, or on mobile, you can hide. These responsive features are for to make responsive. Some sometimes a uh, widget may be element may be uh, not responsive in a specific device, say mobile, and when you can when 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 that happens. You can use these responsive features. For now, icons. I don't think you you will need that. Now you know the basic features of icon widget of Elementor. And if you don't find a specific icon in uh, here in this phone or some icons of uh, available in Elementor, then you can go to flaticon.com f l a t i c o n dot com i will give you the link in the description below let's say i use these icons let's say uh, this is shutter icon and this is mobile display and it zips uh, android will be available in here only here android android is available here but 
such uh, shutter as, uh, and display are not available in the phone or some icons so you have to download it from flaticon.com and use uh, image widget to insert the icons like this use the image icon the only thing is that in the image icon you cannot change the color but you can uh, add a hover animation like this pulse but you cannot change the color like this uh, in the icon that's the only limitation but you can use image widget as icon widget here like this one these are all image widgets and let's uh, let, and then now let me show you some with the uh, users of the uh, icon here yeah, let me just do this down and frame step frame okay circle zero and now clear here yeah, like this let's say in your header color header section you want to add uh, go to the go downwards uh, button then you can add like this or you want to add the button you want to go upward button here and then you can add say up here like this you can add that too and and you can use this icon for some uh, picture description like this or in the services section you can use let's say you want to add a services section in services section uh, most of the time you will use icon box yeah, like this one and you can say uh, code like this web development like this you can use the icon for service in services section and in uh, even in the team the team the uh, team section if there is the, if you don't want to show any profile picture picture or particular picture of your in the team section or or user section then you can use user like this avatar in the team section too these are the basic uses of icon and you can uh, use the icons anywhere you want you use uh, imagination is the only limit sky is the only limit i guess you can say that there are lots of options and uh, adjustments styles here in Elementor page builder this is one of the most powerful page builder of, uh, for WordPress and it is still growing thanks for watching I hope this video helps you and if you have any questions or doubts and if you cannot understand uh, any part of this tutorial please feel free to leave a comment below I will answer you within 24 hours Thanks for watching.